Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the brand new, just dropped yesterday, 2022-23 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey. Yes, this includes the Kraken. Now, 12 boxes. Nick Jaspie's helping us out here. This is going to be a big help for us. He's going to start ripping open these uh, these boxes for us, help pack stack make this break a little bit more, uh, a little bit faster. We'll do a, I guess we'll do a, a Young Guns and maybe Relic Autograph recap uh, at the end. There's six Young Guns cards per box right there, so those are really the, the more important things. At the end, this is a Jersey Fest break. We'll give away an entry, a ticket to Jersey Fest. You can win a nice Fanatics autographed, authentic jersey, fully licensed. And if you bought at least a couple teams, you get a chance at some break credit as well. So big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. And there's that sticker right there. Got it. Right here on Thursday, November 10th, 2022. Pick your team one, and we'll do all those recaps and randomizers at the uh, at the end. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. All right, there it is. Those are the Young Guns cards uh, that we're looking for. That's the main the main chase here in a product like Series One. And all card ship. Now obviously, we like to remind everybody, I know most of you are used to uh, our lightning fast shipping for the most part, but obviously stuff like this does take a little extra time, so just give it a couple extra days. Also, we are reaching the time of year where we have to do these reminders of uh, the holiday season. Things start to slow down for the uh, for the United States Postal Service. So obviously they 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 get a lot busier. They've got a lot of uh, you know increase in volume of packages. And a lot of times what what service gets lost first is like um, they're pretty good about point to point tracking for like your delivery confirmation stuff. That's usually the first thing that that is not updated. So the people freak out. And they're like, "Where's my package? It looks like it's been stuck in L.A. for four days." And, and we'll usually be like, no, nah, it's on its way, and then it'll usually arrive probably the normalish time. And then a couple days later, they're like, yep, I got it. <laughs> so public service announcement, people that are listening. Each week, it'll get a, 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 little, a little worse and a little worse. But that's, that happens every year. That's what happens in the holiday season. Or one stacking it or two? Uh, these aren't super slow. You could probably one stack it, I think. I think this is more paper based. Oh, AC it up. Yeah, AC that up. Oh yeah, look at that temperature. You, you can't get to 74. That's when you start feeling it. You're like, wait, it's a little tiny bit toasty. Sorry, Nick's dad, if you're watching. Oh, it'll just take one visit to like a professional like studio like Fox Sports yeah. and to be like, see how cold they keep it yeah, here? And you're like, well, you gotta keep it cold like Fox Sports. It's like, it's he like just, needs an ex just needs an example. The LA Kings game, they keep it cold. <laughs> you gotta keep it cold. All right, good luck everybody. Young Guns. Now, I am not, who are we looking for Young Guns wise? Does anyone know? There's a few teams that stand out. There's a uh, 38 out of 100 clear-cut honored members, Rod Gilbert. Rangers. That's going to go to Kay Sean. I think I'm a Kraken fan. Yeah, you're going to be a Kraken fan? And Golden Knights. I'm just a fan of expansion teams. Just expansion team fans? It's Jack Hughes, Freestyle. Those Freestyles cards look pretty cool. Marco Rossi, Young Guns. So yeah, this is the first year uh, for the Kraken, Kraken cards. Is this the first product with the Kraken cards? I believe so, maybe MVP. Uh, maybe MVP you know. might have had some, but but I think this is the first sort of major release right here. So my, Mike Tower is saying Buffalo, Blue Jackets, Minnesota are the higher price teams. So I guess those are the teams that we're kind of looking for young guns wise. And these canvases are nice Owen too. Owen Power, Matt Boldy, Matty Beniers, Kent Johnson, Marco Rossi. We just, pulled, we just got a Marco Rossi Young Guns for Minnesota. 
That was uh, Nick Coba with the Wild. Jack Quinn, Lucas Reichel, Thomas Bordlow, Bobby Brink, Samuel right. Fajimo, and Jordan Harris. Are the we'll do left-right randomizers for these checklist cards. That'll represent all the checklist cards. Here's Mads Sogard. Young Guns for Ottawa. That's going to go to Chris Maxwell. Bobby Brink is an awesome name. Bobby Brink. Like back of the Brink's truck for him. Yeah, back of the Brink's truck for Bobby. Yeah. Ooh, that's a, that's a future headline. Hockey riders are looking forward to riding. Oh, Tim's saying Black Diamond had it. All right. Well, listen, my hockey knowledge is not super strong. I do know these that these Young Gun cards are important, so, you know. Definitely shout it out if, in the chat if there's, like, an exceptional player that people should be taking a look at or maybe a player with some upside. I really like the design of Series 1 this year. It's almost like... Did they do a border previous year for something like yeah. that? This one's just just the photo and just like cool. Text is a little small. Text is a little small. I could stand for that to be a little bit bigger, but. There's a uh, Linus Sandin Young Guns for Philadelphia. That'll be for Sean Gola. Here is a Nicholas uh, Abarese for the Toronto Maple Leafs. That'll be for Kayshawn. These Dazzlers cards are pretty cool. Sergei Bovreski for Florida. Florida, that'll be for Zhang. Gigi Zhang with that one. All right, box one in the books. Here's another box and another one. I'm just raise the price. <laughs> All right, debut date. That's for the left-right randomizer. I think some Young Guns cards can be canvases as well, so those are a little more of a shorter printed scenario there. Here's a black and white canvas. That looks pretty cool. Alex DeBrincat for the Chicago, for the Chicago Blackhawks. Collect all the young guns in the stack right there and then we'll, we'll highlight them. into the box. Did I miss something? Population count? This one wasn't numbered. No, this is population count not numbered. They're out of a hundred? Or is there a hundred in this set? This 
Wait, is that? They're, so they're not serial numbered. They're not. They're not serial numbered though. There's uh, Micah Zabenyad, New York Rangers, Dazzlers. I missed a. No, we have one, two, three, four, five. All right, we got the black and white upper deck canvas, Alex DeBrincat, Chicago, that's gonna be for Raymond. The uh, Kokotov Young Guns for Carolina, that'll be for Josh Pruce. The Nick Blankenberg for the Columbus Blue Jackets, William with that one, I think that's one of the nicer ones here. We got Braden Paschal for the Golden Knights, that's gonna be for Raymond. We got Adam Raska for San Jose. That's going to go to Chris. And I think he, we were saying the Lucas Reichel might be a good one here. Chicago Blackhawks, Raymond. No. I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Oh, we found it. Good eye, Mike Tower. Good eye. That's Braden Schneider, Rangers Young Guns for, uh, for Kayshawn. Dazzler cars here. That's a pink parallel. Let's see if that might be numbered. Let's find out in a sec. There's a Young Guns canvas right there. Nice. It's a little bit shorter printed. More Young Guns. Three, four. Should be six in every box. I probably on average, but Jack Quinn. Oh, uh, Jack Quinn's a. There's a Quinn Hughes and a Jack Hughes, right? But then this guy's Jack Quinn? Yeah. It's as if they melted those two players together and they're like, ta-da. Yeah. Here's a black and white Young Guns canvas. Nice. More Young Guns. I feel like that's seven. More young guns. Oh, that's the uh, that's the guy Tim was talking about. All right, a lot of young guns here. There is Maddie Beneers, Seattle Kraken. That's going to be for Ivan, who got the Kraken in the filler. Nice. Then we got Valtteri uh, Pustinen for Pittsburgh. That's going to be for Zeng. We got Samuel Fagemo. Upper deck canvas, Young Guns, black and white for the Kings. That's for Tim. Jack Quinn, Buffalo! Joseph with the Sabres. We got Vladisov. I don't know if I'm gonna attempt that last name here. Arizona, Zachary, there you go, Zach. That's for you. We got the Young Guns canvas, Valtteri Pustinen for Pittsburgh. Zeng. We got the Matthias 
for Arizona, Zachary. And we got Friedrich Karlstrom for the Dallas Stars. That's going to be for Josh Proust. Yeah, those black and white young guns. I like it. Now we got this Jake Odinger, which is, no, not numbered, but a different, different parallel of these Dazzler cards. They're usually blue. So this is probably, I'm sure there's different levels. I'm sure that's a little bit shorter printed than the other ones. Oh, I'm sorry, you're Ducks. Arizona's usually on the top of the list. Uh, Brady Kachuk is Ottawa, sorry. Kayshawn with the Arizona uh, Coyotes. Here's box, there's one right there Nick just dropped. There's two and here's three. All right, onwards. It's cool seeing Kraken cards here. Now, generally speaking, you can see all those cards right there. Generally speaking, like the first year, you know, especially a flagship product like Series 1 first year. Expansion team in their first product, probably a good idea to try to, to try to get on those. You know, hang on to those and who knows. Some of those can get, I like that, that acetate card here too. Uh, the Baneers Young Guns is already 150 bucks on eBay, Terry. Raw, not graded. Here's another Young Guns canvas. Martin St. Louis is my favorite player ever. Raw. My, my favorite hockey, I don't know if I have a favorite hockey player. I guess, I guess, Sean Avery. I guess Kopitar just because he's been, he's been around for a while on the Kings. I kind of like Jordan Stahl. Are you familiar with Jordan Stahl? No, I don't like him. He's a two-time, uh, two-time Stanley Cup champion for the LA Kings. I'm, I don't like the Kings. Married to Aaron Andrews and, uh, got busted, got busted for Coke at a party <laughs> in Vegas. So... You Jared's know, putting up with that. you know they like to. Uh, it's Jarrett Stoll, by the way. Jarrett Stoll. Yes. Who's Jordan Stoll? I don't know. He, he's one of the Stoll brothers who Eric and Jordan have played in the NHL. Okay, so the. So see, you were right, but you. I was right, but person. not right. I was half right. Thanks, Evan. See, I don't follow the hockey people. Whatever. The dude that's married to Aaron Andrews. Exactly. <laughs> Mr. Aaron Andrews. Wait, did I miss a uh, auto? I don't think so. I'm busy telling. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll look. You'll look. Okay. Yeah. I don't think so, but I was busy t telling Jarrett Stall stole Coke stories in Vegas. And the hockey player. And they don't have kids, so you know they, they probably like to party. So, good for them. Lucas Reichel, Blackhawks, Chicago. That'll be for Raymond. It's, it's Nathan, like million Nathan Smith, Arizona. That'll be for Kayshawn. We got the Kings Young Guns, uh, Samuel Fagemo. Uh, that's Tim with my Kings. We got Mad Sosgard. Sogard, not Sosgard. It's a different family. That's an acting family. This is a hockey family. This is uh, Ottawa. That'll be for Chris Maxwell, the Young Guns Canvas, Jordan Spence for Tim. No auto here. Nick Blankenberg, no, no auto. Columbus, that's for William. And then for Ottawa again, Mark Kostelik for uh, Chris and the Senators and Robert Thomas for St. Louis for Zeng.
I like those Raider style criminal. He's not a criminal. He's just, just a, you know, maybe a guy that likes to have a little good time. What's wrong with that? Here's another Maddie Beneers for Seattle. That'll be for Ivan, who won the Kraken in the filler. Some Dazzlers. I tried old Jared Stoll. Got two cups. An integral part of that team. Mouse, Mickey Mouse cups. No Kings players ever broke one of this. A uh, Docker player did. Hmm. Hmm. It's true. Kings players, if you're watching, we're in Hermosa Beach. I'm sure you've driven by the shop a number of times. Pop in, say hello, maybe do a hockey break with us. That is the uh, the French variation. I'll show you that in a second, Vegas. But that's the French parallel or variation, whatever you want to call it. So Terry's saying there's only one Kraken Young Guns in this set. Nobody wanted to buy it. Number three pick overall. Number two pick. They're just sitting there. And I think I think the person who bought them in break two actually got a refund on it. Yeah. Which we have number two. I We're not going to fill her tonight. Um, I'm actually... Stand by. I'm going to put the Kraken back in to uh, break two. So if, uh, well, I wasn't gonna out you, Terry, <laughs> but he outed himself. But if you, his loss might be, his refund might be your gain, ladies and gentlemen. So the Kraken are back and break two. I, I, Terry, I, I was I am far too polite to name and shame people who get refunds. It's no big deal. You know, it's not a problem. It's Unless okay. You do it like every day. Oh yeah. Can't do it. Can't do it all the time. Terry rarely does that. Val Terry Pustinen, Pittsburgh. That'll be for Zhang. That's for Lucas Dostal. Ducks. That one is for Zachary. There you go, Zach. There's the Jens, Jens Loops, Caden Korzak for Vegas. That's going to be for, uh, for Raymond. So that's the, uh, the French parallel there. There's Isaac Ratcliffe for Philadelphia, Sean Gola. No, it's all good, Terry. There's Dylan Sandberg, Winnipeg. That's going to go to Sean Gola. We got the canvas version of Young Guns. Here's Carson Meyer. Um, for Columbus. That's for William. There you go, William. Jean Loops? Jean, Jean Loops? Jean, Jean Lou? <laughs> there's Friedrich Karlstrom. And there's Maddie Beneers again. Now, Terry, you're saying each one of these are at for now are going for 150 bucks raw, and the Kraken are only 300 dollars. I would imagine. Oh, let me get some more boxes up here. Here's each stack is a box. 
Here's another box. My guess is that it's a new, re those are kind of a new release kind of bump, but even if it kind of, you know, kind of goes down a little bit, but plateaus, I mean, I could plateau pretty nicely actually, even after a lot more boxes of this get ripped around the world. What were McDavid Young Guns back in Series 1 back in the day? His must have been 200 raw maybe. And then even even months later, I think it, it was still going for like a hundred, like eighty to a hundred bucks raw. So even as more hit the market, still might be. Remember that kid who traded the Oilers? Oh. I, I don't remember who it was, but I remember that I do remember that. That kid now is like thirty-two. That's how long it's been. Um, and has never broken with us again. So much heartache. Did a McDavid get pulled? Yeah. Oh. He pulled the McDavid patch out of it was oh, blackout no. hockey. It oh, was like no. it was like the one person had like twenty eight teams and he said, I'll trade you twenty eight teams for the one. Oh I see I, I do remember that. And the kid did it. He's like, Oh, I just swindled you. The kid is like to the adult. And then and I, McDavid came out. And I and I think I think we even said, I want to say, I even said, hey, you know there's McDavid rookies in here. It was in the photo. But I think I think his logic was, what are the odds of that card being pulled? And I'm going to get all these other teams. I think he just saw. Just saw a yeah, value I, play. I, just I saw. Can, I, I can get 28 teams. Right. And that McDavid probably was the value of those 28 teams. Rough. Trade Trading horror stories. I don't know why people do it. But it was just funny because he was saying like how much Yeah, he was like, bragging that he was that bragging he, that he got twenty eight teams. That he got the best of this person. Yeah. Those were the days. Those are the crazy days. Here's a different Dazzlers. Ooh! So this must be really this must be nice too, right? Maddie Beneers, Dazzlers, in that sort of rose, rose gold, pink, flush. Yeah, plant a lot of that. A lot of those Maddie Beneers young guns. We got at least a few for you, Ivan. You won the Seattle Kraken in that filler. Congrats. All right, we got a Carter Verrier, Florida. That'll be for Zhang. We got a Matty Boldy for Minnesota. That's for Nick Koba. We got Bobby Brink. There he is. Back up the Brink's truck for Bobby Brink. Philadelphia, Sean Gola. We got we got Jacob Moverare, Moverare for the Kings. That'll be for Tim. There's the Jack Quinn Young Guns Canvas Edition. Buffalo! Joseph with that one. Zach exactly. King Boldy is a top two guy as well. Nice. Trey Fix Wolanski for Columbus. That's for William. We got Caden Korzak for Vegas. That's going to go to Raymond. And there's Braden Tracy. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. What's that from, Nick? Dick Tracy. That's right. Zach with Anaheim. That's right. That's Al Pacino in the movie Dick Tracy with Warren Beatty. Well, Al Pacino plays Big Boy, I think. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. Everywhere I go. See you, uh, Michael. Sweet, so. More um, Young Guns. I just watched Ocean's 13 where he portrays Wynn guy. Oh, yeah. Steve Wynn. He's like... You know, fiction, fiction, Steve Wynn. Right. But everyone knows, everyone knows it's like Steve Wynn. like Wynn. Steve Bank or something. Right. And he calls his casino the bank. Well, those are some good movies. I like heist movies. Yeah, those heisty movies are pretty good. I can't believe you've never seen the NASCAR one. He did. Oh, yeah, keep forgetting. Daniel Craig, Adam Driver. 
You gotta watch that. An incredible flick. What's it called? Logan Lucky. Right, I gotta, they I... robbed Charlotte Motor Speedway. What an incredible flick. It came out in 2017. Seth MacFarlane's in it. It's a great movie. We got Riley Keogh is in it. Hillary Swank's in this. Channing Tatum is in this. Kay Holmes is in this. It's a great, great flick. It's a Steven Soderbergh picture. Yeah, he did Ocean's Eleven. How did how did I not see this? Look at the box office. How much? Wow, you 92 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm not lying. No, I, I'm, I wasn't saying you were, but. Huh. Dwight Yoakam's in this? I don't know who that Sebastian is. Stan is in this. You know him. Yeah, in Marvel. Wow. I like Steven Soderbergh. Yeah, I like Soderbergh. I like the cast. I like NASCAR. I like heist movies. I might have to rent to go to Blockbuster this weekend and get the videotape. Redbox. Yeah, go to Redbox. Like Teddy. He still goes to a Redbox? <laughs> he yelled at Thomas once because he gave Thomas a Redbox to return it and Thomas forgot to for like two weeks. And Teddy was like the most angry I've ever seen him. Because <laughs> well, like, so are angry. there like late charges? Yeah, like a, it's like two, a dollar a day every time so they don't return it. It's like Blockbuster. Don't need anything. Oh, no, I'm good. I need you hey, to drop Chris. something off at the red box. See ya. <laughs> See ya, Chris. Red box. Teddy oh. was so upset. He like didn't talk to Thomas for like a month. Wow. Just because he didn't return some sort of vampire movie. Him, yeah. Right. It's like if you want to get something done, do it yourself, Teddy. Red box. No one goes to Red Box. Done. Wow, is that it? Nice. Thanks, Nick. All right, well, listen, as promised, after this, I was going to take a break, but if another series two, series, if not only these hockey breaks fill, we'll still have Nick's help, or if that soccer break fills, that's only one spot left, um, Nick will help with that as well. And I'll do it before my dinner break. I'll put that on hold for you if you want it. If you don't, I'm gonna enjoy some food. All right, Young Guns. We got Caden Korzak, Vegas. That's gonna be uh, for Raymond. We got Jack McBain. Mc McBain? That's the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger character in Simpsons. Arizona, that's gonna be for Sean. We got Jeff Mallett, Winnipeg. That's gonna be for Sean Gola. Jordan Spence for Tim and Mike Kings. Thanks, Joe. Have a great evening. We got good weekend. Hey, thank you. See you later, Evan. Noah Cates. Thank you for Young Guns case, by the Canvas. Way. Philly. Oh, no worries. Yeah. Flyers, Sean Gola, and Mark McLaughlin for the Bruins. Okay, Sean with that one. And here is Brock Nelson for the Islanders. He's got the Islanders. Zang for the Islanders. All right, uh, we, have bought, we have one, two, three, four, five boxes left. So we're a little, little over halfway through this case. But nothing to unbox, so th this should be a breeze from here on out. Here's another, however you say it, Brandon Tracy, Jens Loop. Apologies to the French, the poor accent. Now, William was saying those pink dazzlers are one out of 144, 144 packs. So yeah, definitely shorter printed than the blue dazzlers that seem seemingly are one per box. So however, however many packs are in here. One every 24. And I will do that Young Guns Dazzlers recap um, at the end, along with all the randomizers for the 
for the break credit and the uh, Jersey Fest giveaway. Rex, what's up? What do you think of the Dodgers letting Justin Turner go to free agency? Uh, I think they'll probably... I think they weren't going to pay him what he was going to get paid, but I think they'll probably bring him back for a shorter-term deal. A shorter-term deal and less money. I don't think he's getting... I don't think a team... I mean, if he does, good for Justin Turner. I like that guy, but... But uh, if someone wants to, to pay, pay him more in free agency, go for it. But I've got a feeling that he'll just re-sign with, uh, with the Dodgers at a, maybe a few years, but much less, uh, much less money, I would imagine. Green parallel here, center of attention. Tage Thompson, Blue Dazzler. And here's a 5 out of 10, Nick Schmaltz. A numbered card, high gloss numbered card here. Okay, so Tage Thompson, Dazzlers, going to Buffalo, that 5 out of 10, going to Arizona, that'll be for Kayshawn. And some young guns, Ben Myers, Colorado. That'll go to Joseph. We got a Hayden Hodgson, Philadelphia. Sean Gola. It's also for Sean, Noah Cates. We got Zach Hayes for Vegas. That's going to go to Raymond. Bobby Brink, another one for uh, Sean and the Philadelphia Flyers. Tracy, Tracy, Tracy in the uh, Jens loops. So the back is all in French as well. So that goes to Zach and Anaheim. And Dylan Sandberg, Winnipeg. It'll be for Sean G. All right, another box. And I think, I think Jason Jaspi, if you want a personal box of this, should have some available. They're, the price is not, it's one of those upper deck things where we can't publish the price, but if you go to, uh, if you go talk to Jason on Instagram, at Jaspi's Breaks, he'll, uh, he'll tell you how to, to get a personal box of this if you'd like. Tyler, what's going on? Oh, I don't even have the Thursday Night Football game on. Is it a snoozer? I, I have not missed much is what you're saying. I do have Amazon Prime on my phone. Put it on a little cell phone holder here. Let's see just, just how much of a snooze fest is this. Yep, let's watch now. Careless decision. Third time we've seen Mariota trying to make a play. Got Panthers 10 nothing, four minutes left in the first half. I'm on the Panthers. I was on the Panthers plus two and a half, so that's good for me so far. If they don't re-sign him, do they have another third base? Yeah, they do. I mean, Dodgers have a pretty pretty deep farm system, and I think Dodgers team president Stan Kasten had mentioned 
listen, maybe it's time to finally start leaning into leaning into that farm system and seeing what we have there. And I think there may be some slight payroll sort of motivations too because um, because I think the Dodgers would be entering the last year of the luxury tax before they get penalized. And I think if you spend one year under that luxury tax threshold, then that whole process resets. So they may do that reset this off season. I don't know, or maybe not, I don't know. But they do have a lot coming off the books. So, I mean, they've got, I think Miguel Vargas could play third, Michael Bush could play third, Chris Taylor could play third. Um, here's Ryan Hartman, Minnesota Wild. That'll be for Nick Coba. Got another wild for Nick, Matt Boldy. Someone, someone was saying the Boldy is pretty good too. We got, for Anaheim, we got Jacob uh, Peralt. That's for Zach, and the Ducks. We got Chase Pearson for the Red Wings, Detroit. That's gonna go to Nick. We got Linus Sandin for uh, Sean Gola and the Flyers. We got Carson Meyer for Columbus. It's going to be for Williams. Won that in the filler. You'll get this guy as well. Fix Wolanski. Fikes? Fix? Fix Wolanski? All right, final three boxes coming up. One. Two. And three. All right, good luck everyone. Uh, I think we're gonna get this break in under an hour. Big thanks to Nick for his help. Uh, speaking of a little baseball, um, what other what other opt outs has there been? Or maybe an opt ins. I know the Dodgers offered qualifying offers to Tyler Anderson and um, and Trey Turner. I want to say. which are two interesting situations. Obviously, Trey Turner is not going to accept a $19 million a year qualifying offer because he's going to get a better deal elsewhere. Um, and if he signs, I think with the qualifying offers, I think this rule is still the same. If a qualifying offer was, was offered, tendered, but, that, but the player does not sign with the qualifying offer team and he signs elsewhere, I think the Dodgers will get like a compensatory pick or something like that. Like in between the first and second rounds. I think that rule is still in effect. Um, so I guess, I mean, I think, I think they're still going to try to re-sign Trey Turner, but in case it doesn't happen, they've got a potential draft pick to get, which they usually do well with. Tyler Anderson, the pitcher, on the other hand, who knows? I don't know if he's going to, if he gets a longer term deal, maybe he'll, you know, maybe he'll take that, but I'm not sure how strong the market is for him. He may just opt for a nice one year payday and the familiarity of staying with the same team. I think he's bounced around a little bit, so maybe he wants to maybe try to do one more year. Ooh, that's cool. One more year, the Dodgers maybe get a longer term extension or something like that. There's Nathan Smith, Young Guns, and the uh, that acetate look. That's really cool. That goes to Kayshawn and the Coyotes. We got Jordan Harris, Montreal Young Guns for Nick Coba. We got more Sam 
Fagemo for Tim and the Kings. We got Carson Meyer for the Blue Jackets. That's going to be for William and Columbus. We got some more Arizona. Kayshawn, that's Vladisov. Am I going to try this? Kolya. Uh, Kolya Chonuk. Kolya Chonuk? They can't all be. They can't all be Ben Myers, right here. <laughs> Colorado, Joseph with that one, and Kent Johnson, Columbus. That's for William. And the Dazzlers is Carl uh, Vejmelka for Arizona. It's going to be for Keishon. All right, two more boxes to go. Good luck. Do I remember an ex-Grizzlies player named Dante Green? I do not. I know a Draymond Green. I know AC Green. I know AJ Green. Hunter Green. But not a Dante Green. Right, mean Joe Green, I know. Mean Joe Green, not that, not that mean. Tyler, not, not that mean. Mean on the field, but apparently, um, I think that's a variation, right? When they're in their street clothes. Yeah, mean Joe Green, not that mean. Apparently, he's quite nice outside of the lines. Hmm. Oh, Dante Green, if anybody remembers him. Fallen on hard times as he was arrested for robbing a gas station only about 15 to 20 miles from you. Have you been to this gas station, Rex? If so, what can you tell us about this gas station? What gas station is it? Is it a national chain? Is it a... Local, local, uh, local gas station. Young guns. Yeah, more like mean Dante Green now. Falling apart in hard times. Was his head too tall? Jones too tall. Classic Geico commercial. Chase Pearson, Red Wings, Detroit. That's going to be for Nick. There's Jonathan uh, Kovacevic for Winnipeg. That's for Sean. Right, and when what did he steal? Was it money? Was it uh, snacks? Sunflower seeds? Maybe some David sunflower seeds. Thomas Bordello for San Jose. That's going to go to. Chris Maxwell, Young Guns. We got a Frederick Anderson for Carolina. It's gonna be for Josh Pruce. Looks like the uh, street clothes variation. We got Eric Calgren, Toronto, Young Guns for Kayshawn. We got Jakob Galvis for the Blackhawks. That's gonna go to Raymond. Or Jacob, who knows? We got Isaac Ratcliffe. Young Guns Canvas for Philadelphia. That's for Sean Golick. And we got Owen Power. Buffalo! And Igor Sharyanovich for the Devils. That's going to be for Zeng. Final box. 
It was a Phillips 66. I've heard of the. I've seen a Phillips 66 around here. Was it a? Was it one with like a convenience store attached to it? Was he just, or was it just a small little kiosk? Was he trying to get cash? Rex, you can't just drop this kind of news on us and not give us all these, give us enough details. We, we need the deets. The reports didn't say what he stole, but it happened at 12.36, so may maybe money? Like you could be hungry, man. Maybe a midnight snack is what he wanted. I don't know. Let's not presume. So it's a developing story. Rex will keep us, uh, will, will keep us on track. Rex, we, we'll, we'll, we'll look for your update, another update tomorrow. Zach saying, what snack would I steal if I had to? Hmm. I mean... Sour Patch Kids, that's, that's a good one. Maybe some Nerds. Sweet Tarts, perhaps. Maybe some Bacon Jerky, if they have it. Sunflower Seed, David Sunflower Seeds. And I... I uh, got a bag of Nathan, uh, Nathan, that's Nathan Smith. I got a bag of David Sunflower Seeds a couple weeks back and uh, at my local 7-Eleven. And um, I know there were, there were like two fifty a bag. And I was like, inflation. Inflation hitting the sunflower seed industry. It could even be some supply chain issues too. Who knows, but... You know, pre-pandemic, those guys really can get those for like 99 cents a bag. That's, that's right, Rex. Yeah, I would get David's barbecue sunflower seeds. They're pretty good. So, so for uh, robbery, intimidation, and fear, interfering with the reporting of a crime. Wow. So it's pretty much, hey, give me your money. That's the robbery part. Intimidation. Otherwise, I'll, I'll punch you. That's the intimidation. And when the person was reaching for the phone to hit 911, maybe grabbing the phone out of, out of the person's hand. There's uh, Mikhail Granlin, Nashville. That's going to go to Zing. Matthias Marcelli, Coyotes. Robbery sounds like gunpoint. But then I, I think there would be, you would put gun assault charges in there. It just says robbery and intimidation. It sounds like maybe, could even be like a finger inside your shirt kind of situation where you are intimidating someone. But you don't actually have a deadly weapon because I'll bet you they'll hit you with that charge real fast. There's Hayden Hodgson, Philadelphia Flyers. That's going to be for Sean Gola. Nathan Smith with Arizona. For Arizona, K. Sean. Tyler saying Kershaw's return to LA. It's official? What are the terms of this deal? Jacob Peralt, Anaheim. Zach. Yeah, gun might, yeah, would have aggravated assault or attempted, attempted murder maybe if you if you pulled the trigger and missed him or Noah Cates Flyers, that's for Philadelphia. But yeah, however your state handles that sort of stuff. But Got a black and white upper deck canvas. Nicholas Backstrom for Washington. That'll be for Zing. And we got Jake Christensen, Young Guns, Blue Jackets, Columbus. That's for William. And we've got a numbered card here too. A little upper deck exclusives. Jason, uh, Jason, no, Justin Falk. 76 out of 100 for St. Louis. That's for Zing as well. There you go, gang. That was your break. Now, yeah, we got it in just...
54 minutes and 50 seconds. Real nice. Now, a little some housekeeping we got to do here. We got to randomize some stuff to the people. So let's get some. Let's get a new list. Okay. So the first one is the left-right randomizers for the uh, for those checklist cards. You're welcome, Zach. Thanks for getting in, man. Appreciate it. And your patience on this. We finally filled it. Um, the next one. What am I doing? Oh. Um, Break credit. So if you bought at least two teams, right? Okay, so let's do that. Let's alphabetize your names by first name. All right, so Chris got four teams. That's two entries. Joseph bought two teams. That's an entry. Josh bought two teams. That's an entry. Kayshawn bought four teams. That's two entries. Nick Koba bought four teams. That's two entries. So basically buy an even number of teams and you'll get an entry. Raymond, two teams, one entry. Sean Gola, two teams, one entry. Tim with just one, William with just one. Gigi Zhang with eight teams, that's four entries. And Zach only got one team. All right, so that's pretty good odds right there. 14, top, top five get 100 bucks each. That's really nice. So let's copy all of your names there. That's for the break credit. And then everyone still has a shot at the, uh, at the Jersey Fest spot. Jersey Fest, break credit, pretty nice. All right. One dice roll to rule them all. One dice roll for the three lists. Good luck. Three and a six, nine times for each list. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, right side cards will get them. So right side cards will get these checklist cards. Nine times for the break credit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Top five, Nick, Gigi, Nick, and Zhang again. So Zhang, I'm gonna send you three, or the $300 in one code, Nick Koba, $200 in one code. Congrats to the both of you. Thanks everyone for giving this, uh, for getting a couple teams right here. And then three in a, si did I miss someone in the break credit list? Who did I miss? I got, got Chris, I got Joe, I got Josh, I got Kayshawn, I got Nick, I got Raymond, I got Sean, and I got Zeng. No, I don't think I did. I got everybody, didn't I? No, I got Chris right there. Chris, I'll send you a hundred bucks too. All right, and let's do this. Three and a six, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, name on top in Jersey Fest. That means you get a Fanatics authentic autographed jersey. And it's gonna be Ivan. That's nice. You you won the uh, you won the the Seattle Kraken, and you got the jersey. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I guess I'll do a quick recap too of all the Dazzlers and Young Guns cards and these numbered cards right here. Not a bad break at all. I guess the Dazzlers are a little more common. That's a variation. The clear card right there. The French variations are really sharp. That was out of 10, the high gloss. 
Young Guns canvas. We're cool looking as well. So these, the blue ones are, are, are pretty common. I might not even sleeve those in the next break, but these ones are far less common. I think William was saying one out of every 144 packs. And we managed to get two of them in this case, which is awesome. Some black and white parallels there too. And we also started off with a die cut, which I don't think is terribly common as well for the Rangers. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was 2022-23 Upper Deck Series 1 Hockey Hobby Boxes 12 Box Pick Your Team Number 1. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next hockey break. Bye-bye.